Hello everyone, back again with another Android emulation news and updates. But before that, a huge shout out to these guys. Alright, let's start with the hottest. RPCS3 Android. The HOG dev of RPCS3 suddenly got the interest to develop this on Android after the APS3E controversy. Might be the main reason, might not, but I believe without the APS3E situation, this would have happened so quickly to the point that an alpha release is available in just a week. However, don't expect too much from the performance you'll get, especially for heavier titles. And you definitely need a fairly high-end chipset for this emulator. Anyways, a new update but still an alpha is available for download with support for controllers but only in OTG wired connection with DualShock 3 or 4 inputs. Another PlayStation emulator project unexpectedly came out. Shandroid PS4, an experimental PS4 emulator for Android. However, don't get your hopes up yet. Even PS4 emulation on PC is still in early stages, so this will have a long way to become viable if this will ever be seriously continued for development. Next, we have an update for Pluvia, a lightweight unofficial Steam client for Android. Version 1.3.2 is now available with a few fixes and few additions. New app icon Friends list now shows game names and family filter item for library list. Will later official get a new beta release? Will later 10? With added native GLibc for better performance, minor improvements to Vortec, improved internal registry editor, implemented direct rendering on X server and Vulkan WSI X11. If you're interested, link will be provided below. Will Later Fork Frost get a new release? Will Later Frost 9 version 2? Added more localization, added wrapper imported from My Swine mod, added turnip 25.1.0.2, more wine D3D from My Swine, and a lot more. Link below if you want to check this out. Alright, that would be it for today's Android emulation news and updates. Comment down your thoughts, and I will include you in my next video. Like and subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the latest Android emulation news. Thanks for watching.